You're listening to the Chat City interviews from 103.2 Preston FM. So Christmas present food. That's right, we're going to do some enrobed fruits. Enrobed fruits. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to enrobe them in? <laughs> what better? Chocolate. 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 And I'm just slicing some apples incredibly thinly here. So they're about a millimetre thick, aren't they? Yes. Uh, if you core your apple first, use a really good, good fresh apple for this. Yeah. Wash the outer peel, and you, then you don't have to peel them mm-hmm. because it's so thin. Oh, so it tastes nice a little bit on the end. It's a bit like yeah. oil's original well, it keeps, crisps. It keeps the shape as well a little better mm. when they're drying. Now, I'm going to squeeze some lemon over it as well, and we've also got some banana. What's going to happen is these are going to get dried, and then we'll dip them in dark and a mixture of milk and dark chocolate for Christmas presents. Right, okay. Now, the drying of the fruit. Now, we've got a, a wonderful snacker. Whatever. We've got a, dry, a, a dehydrator <laughs> yes. that's got four shelves to it. And then a lid with like what looks like a huge hair dryer. It looks dryer. like a hair dryer, doesn't it? Really it? Does. it blows warm air But you it. don't need one of those. You can use your oven. Just use your oven. Put it right to the lowest setting. I don't know what that is on your oven, it depends. But it is the lowest setting. On ours, it is... Well, it says 50, 50 there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, 50 is yeah. the lowest setting. Set it for about 10 minutes before you put your... Okay, uh, put your and then in. put your produce, whatever you've prepared... And drying. And you can dry anything. Any fruit, vegetables. Tomatoes are wonderful. They are. Cut them in half Bananas or slice in them. Bananas and things like that. But you can leave cherries, cranberries, grapes whole. Now, grapes do take a long time in your oven, but they don't take quite as long in the dehydrator. But if you put them on a wire rack, they take up to two hours yeah, less. Yeah. But you can put them on a baking sheet as well. If it's in the uh, oven or in your dehydrator, make sure they're all separate in a single layer. And then when you... Put them out. Now we've put the apples on one layer and the bananas, bananas on, on another. another layer. But because there are other two layers, you yeah. could you could do other things as well. But yeah. I, I haven't got anything else to do. I want to make. You could sure. do. I tell you, you could do um, biltong, your own yes, jerky, you and do, all that kind of stuff. You can do beef and uh, pork. Now then, we're going to set it to the medium setting. The ha- the hotter it gets, of course, the speedier it dehydrates. But it can also make them go crispy. Mm. You don't want. Them, I don't want them to be really crispy and brittle. I want them to teal, still have a little bit, have a bit of bite. A bit of bite, I want them, yeah. Now then, I'm going to set it for initially for four hours, and can you hear the hair dryers on? <laughs> and almost straight away, it's you can smell, smell banana. It is very, and it becomes very uh, concentrated. Well, that's what it does. It gets rid of the water, but yeah. not much of the flavouring. But what I use this really for, the not just for drying fruits, for, for dipping in chocolate, I use it to make my own muesli, muesli. ingredients. So apple, pear, yeah. apricots. Dried fruits of any kind, you can yeah. you can just pop in here. Now the machine is very economical. Yeah. It's very it's, it's going to be on for four hours, but you're, it might cost less than a penny to run this particular machine because it's designed in such a way. The oven is probably less economical, but the big benefit of having one of these is your oven's free. That's right, it does it does free. The other thing is, if you did a curry the other day, then you might have yeah, curry flavoured bananas. You need, no, you need a you need a, a clean oven, but. If you do it in the morning, by the evening you've got your dried fruit. Well, let's so talk chocolate. Now then, when this is done, I'm going to melt some chocolate. Now, there are two main ways of doing it, either in your microwave, and it usually takes about two to three minutes, depending on type of chocolate. Don't use too much. I use about 100, 150 grams at any one time. Because if you dip so in something, amount, it doesn't... Yeah. 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 Uh, it's quicker. And now, what kind of chocolate? It's not a Mars bar I'm going to melt, is it? It's, you can, it's a... you can. Use it. <laughs> Funnily enough. No, I'm going to use good quality dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Okay. The high dark chocolate, chocolate is high content. cocoa solids. Yeah. It's, it will say on, the, if it's good quality, it will tell you how much. So, what is it? 75, 80? This, this is 75. Okay. Uh, it'll go up. To, you can get up to 92%, which is very brittle and, very and doesn't melt very well and well. very bitter, but <laughs> ideal for cooking. On the hob, don't overheat the water. It's got to be simmering. Okay. Put your bowl of your, of your chocolate bits over the top and then gently melt because there are two things that chocolate hates. The first one is too much heat. And if you boil it or put any kind of very high temperatures near it, it will split and it okay. will dry up and you Go can't move it around. Can't do with it. The other thing is, is moisture. It doesn't like water. Right. Liquids of any kind make it seize up and you can't stir it. And again, it goes grainy. So keep those two things well away from it and use a gentle heat to melt your chocolate. Once it's melted, just remove it from the heat and it will stay fluid. 
particularly if you keep it over the water for a long time. Because of the heat time. of the bowl, yeah. I suppose. You and then you can either use, if you're using um, dry fruits, you can uh, dip it in with your fingers or you can use little tongs or whatever. Now, I was going to ask that. What was, what, how are you going to make sure that you don't get covered in chocolate but your fruit gets all covered Does in chocolate? Does that really matter? I don't mind. <laughs> no, you can, or if it's something like, a, say you, you're making your own truffles, for instance, use cocktail sticks. Okay. And dip them in there. Dip it in and keep everything as cool as you possibly can. Just keep your room as cool mm. as you possibly can. Because then y- you're not melted everywhere because it's quite tricky. But uh, when you're dipping your fruits, the best thing to do is to use your fingers. 